hello welcome back everyone so in this video i'm going to talk about something very interesting something that everyone been talking about for some time some people are concerned about the perspective of the it job market you know many large corporations they are laying off workers i'm going to shed some lights on this topic nothing to worry about let's look at some data of course uh, I'm not here to predict, nor I can predict the future, or, nor anyone can. But, you know, I'm going to look at some of the data available to us by the expert, you know, uh, expert analysis and some of the sites we're going to take a look. And how is it looking for information technology jobs in this year and a few years to come, you know, near future. And then, of course, you know, in this channel, we talk about QA testing. So we're going to deep dive more into the job perspective for uh, software assurance engineers testers automation engineers and all that good stuff right let's get to it we just live in a different uh, time right now right we, we just done with covid uh, even though there is a new variation uh, you know people have been talking about or cdc even mentioning about the new variation so uh, i guess we just have to live with that and uh, then you know after covid we have this ai revelation you can say i think that also freaked out a lot of people and uh, i honestly think there's nothing to be really freaked out about you know there's it's the technology right uh, only only concern i have is that how we use it right uh, we just have to use ai to our advantage not it shouldn't be a, a technology technology uh, i believe cannot really replace humans right uh, we still someone still need to operate these machines right so i'm not gonna go into this debate actually um, this is not the purpose of this but um, you know ai revelation uh, that i i think also many people are concerned oh what's going to happen all the some of the automation engineer jobs gonna go away you know now they're AI is building websites, so some of the development job is gonna go away. So I'm not really concerned about it. Uh, for you, I would just focus on brushing up my skill sets, right? Just we just need to focus on how to go to the next level, right? Brush up our skill sets and then work on improving ourselves. So now let's look into some websites. I'm gonna look into a few websites, but I'm going to look at something overall uh, in IT general, right? So if I go to this site, this is basically US Bureau of labor statistics data from um, us right here is basically gives us overall a data for software developers quality assurance engineers testers same thing right so it gives us the median pay which is basically combined so this is not really not really gonna help us and i'm not really looking into the salary at this moment but if you look at here what i'm interested in is number of jobs in 2022 and uh, again we're not interested in that because we, we passed that but for 2022 to 2032 so that's uh, you know that, that's a good thing right 25 percent faster than average which is a good sign and then they also gives a prediction here how many jobs if i look at that uh, this is a good news for uh, it professionals uh, overall right something interesting here so if you look at the they also give a median average uh, salary for software developer so the, that is 127,000 uh, this is uh, based on uh, May 2022 and this is for software Q engineer so 99,000 and as you can see this is QA testing uh, profession is a very rewarding profession right and most of the automation engineers actually makes more than that and they pretty much makes same salary as like developers if you if you uh, average that of course you know as more experience uh, architects or senior devs you know they make more money but i know many uh, automation engineers as that they, they they make pretty decent amount of money i would argue actually they probably make more than a lot of lot of uh, like the devs in the same like experience let's say five years six years they make actually as some of the ads as that they make more money are uh, very interesting actually so and which is good hey so i'm what i'm going to do actually i'm going to look at this we looked at uh high level over there that 25 percent of job growth between 2022 and 2032 right so which is good i want to look at this the state data so if you go there uh, so let's look at software developers you know so this is another interesting thing actually uh, if i scroll up then it gives you uh, more uh, detail like uh, by industry the numbers salary hourly range and all that right uh, but what i'm interested right now here where to find a job let's see if you're looking for a job so as you can see uh, if you look at here the dark green 
uh, areas highlighted they have there are more jobs right so again what we looked earlier um, not surprising uh, Washington uh, California Texas here Florida Georgia uh, North Carolina uh, I didn't see that coming but okay nice uh, Virginia and of course North uh, all these states you know and of course here uh, Chicago here uh, Illinois so that's not surprising to me uh, has uh, its IT hub as well so this is very nice actually and I'm going to actually go back and look at the softer Q engineer data right I think it's pretty similar so yeah exactly and so if you want to take a you know deeper dive into it just go to this site uh, bls.gov basically this is pretty good site solid information here and here again this is the top stage uh, no surprising here so this is nice so this is uh, this one is um, recruiter.com right and this one kind of gives us a career outlook for um, QA engineer jobs, you know, automation engineers and all that. So, of course, I'm looking at US, uh, USA, US job market. So, if you look here, it kind of gives us a projection, right? So, as you can see, 2020 and 2029. So, it's growing. So, which is good. And as they have some interesting data here. So, basically, they gives us the top states. So, of course, this is California, not surprised, um, kind of surprised by taxes, but I'm not really surprised. Uh, so, of course, that's Florida. It's always, you know, they had a decent amount of jobs and Georgia is one of the hub. And, of course, uh, Virginia, a lot of government jobs are there. So, and, of course, North New York and Washington. Uh, of course this is another tech hub right so here if you look at this side uh, this is a good sign for specifically i'm looking at key engineers right so if you look at this uh, this is looking good for us and then i want to look at another side actually so this is basically a article i found uh, from coursera right so they also do a lot of research and so on um, solid website feeding this section so here you know it's a, it's a pretty lengthy article but what i want to look here is basically if you look look at the salaries here this is a really specific q engineer so it's different titles but as you can see it's pretty decent salary right pretty nice salary q engineers automation engineers is a six six figure income so fellow it professionals you know if if you already have a job nothing to worry about i think only concern are people are really worried i know actually quite few people you know they're looking for a job and a job market even though there are a lot of jobs out there is kind of taking time for people to get hired and all that right so uh, that's there you know but i would say if you if you don't have a job right now or if you're worried just you know continue with upgrading your skills right don't worry too much about ai is going to take our jobs and all this automation and all that the only way to outpace automation basically we have to sharpen our skills right so if you're a manual tester uh, try to get into automation if automation is if you think it's too difficult i mean a lot of people think you know i need to learn uh, programming and all that yeah you do need to learn basic programming honestly uh, as an entry-level automation engineer so you really don't need to be an expert like you, you you don't need to be a developer right uh, then you'll be a developer if you know that kind of coding but you know there are other routes right you can you can focus on API testing, right? That's API now. API automation has a good demand, right? Security testing is really gaining momentum. But again, if you're kind of familiar with uh, networking or uh, system sides, uh, it'll be it'll be easier for you. Uh, if you're like a more of a hardware guy or a girl, uh, it'll be easy to trans transition into security roles. But there are so many. Uh, or if you're familiar with Unix or Linux uh, platforms, um, there's some tools you can pick up and then go from there. Nowadays, there there's certain softwares out there. Basically, also, you can use it for um, security testing. And there's so many things to do, actually. Uh, but definitely, I would say uh, automation, API testing, right? Uh, security testing performance testing is another another thing you can do honestly performance testing is kind of underlooked people think it's very difficult it's not that difficult uh, that's if you're more technical if you know a little bit of coding uh, actually at times uh, some tools you don't need to know coding tool has a user interface you just need to learn it how to use it 
So, but you just need to understand what you need to do. You're doing load testing, why you're doing load testing and all that. But anyways, I'm probably going to talk about all these topics uh, in a separate video. So no worries, keep searching for jobs. If you're looking for a job, if you're learning QA, keep learning. Uh, reach out to me if you need any help and see you in the next video. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified when I upload new videos, right? And also this helps me with the YouTube algorithm. All right, happy learning.